Welcome to the California Quarter Mile Short Track. We've come down from the mountain out to the Pacific Coast to race some Mustangs. This track is a scale quarter mile with two long straights and of course one big turn. The Pacific Coast turn will be the real make or break point on this racetrack. The short track should present a different challenge for the drivers. You're gonna wanna get out front early and try to maintain your speed on that last stretch of track. We've got 24 Mustangs to qualify here today. Up first is Car Crasher 88YT, driving the Custom 15 Mustang. With a name like that, hopefully he doesn't crash. <laughs> well, I guess that was bound to happen. Car Crasher was driving for the 4114 Diecast Racing Team. That will be a DNF, but a DNF does not mean he's out of the tournament. He's just gonna go to the bottom of the ranking. Next up, we have our second driver for 4114 Diecast Racing. It's Big Poppy. That looked like a good run. A 3.131 second time. That'll put him on the pole, but I mean, no one else has really qualified yet, so. We've got Kevin Fairburn, 03. He's the third driver for 4114 Diecast Racing. He's having some trouble going into the Pacific Coast turn. He might have knocked something loose on that car. This will be a slow time, 5.141 seconds. That currently puts him in second, but I don't think he's gonna be there very long. Next up is Mr. Tiggs, the fourth driver for 4114. He's driving in that Shelby GT350R. Loses control coming out of the turn. That's really slowing him down. I don't think he's gonna make it. Nope, he comes just about two car lengths short of the finish line. That will be the second DNF for 4114 Diecast Racing. Not a good start for his team. Next driving for Colorado Gresham Racing is Gaming with Abdul. Looks good around the turn. And he gets a time of 3.750 seconds. Gaming with Abdul driving in the 2015 Mustang GT. Now we've got Red Right Hand Racing in the 92 Mustang, the second driver for Colorado Gresham Racing. All over the place going into that turn. Not looking very fast, but he's, he's still got momentum. A 4.802 second time, not very fast. And Gaming with Abdul forgot to get his car off the track. Now driving for League of Speed is EMC TV. If the car is sponsored by League of Speed, you know it's got FTEs and look how fast this one's going. Whoa, a sub three second time, 2.986 seconds. An extremely fast time on this track. That's gonna put EMC TV in the pole position. Wow, an impressive run from that car. Next up, driving in the same 07 Shelby GT500 is Vantonio X, the second driver for League of Speed. Can he match that time or get close? He's all over the place, bouncing off the walls, and he gets a 3.856 second time. That's a strong start to this tournament for the League of Speed. Now it's time for the Nick Deavers Racing Team. First up is Susan O'Brien in the 07 Mustang. Looking good around the turn. Nice and straight right here. A 3.485 second time. I believe that's gonna put Susan somewhere around third place. A good start for the Nick Deavers Racing Team. Up next is the second driver for Nick Deavers Racing. It's Nanton 34 driving in the 1969 Mustang. Looks good going into the turn, bouncing off those sidewalls, and we've got our third DNF of the day. The Pacific Coast turn causing some real problems for some of these drivers. Here goes Brendan Ruiz driving the 1992 Mustang. This one looks like a K-Day exclusive. He's back and forth, but he's making it to the finish line, and Brendan Ruiz picks up a time of 3.816 seconds. It's Andrew Rothgern driving the 2010 Shelby GT500 Super Snake. He's also driving for Nick Deavers Racing. Spins around after the turn, but he still gets a time of 3.557 seconds. Not a bad start for the Nick Deavers Racing team. I believe they still have one more driver. We've still got 12 cars to qualify. We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back.
Welcome back. You're watching the qualifying round of the Mustang Tournament here on the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League. We've got Nero 62 driving the 65 Mustang Fastback. He's driving for the Nick Deavers Racing Team and this is not looking good for him. Is he gonna make it to the finish? Just barely, but they're gonna need to check that Mustang out. Nero gets a time of 6.306 seconds. That's most likely gonna put him somewhere near the bottom when this thing is all said and done. Driving for Redline Salvage Inc. is Orange Track Diecast in the 67 Mustang GT. A lot of back and forth banging on the sidewalls, but he gets a time of 3.373 seconds. A strong time right there. That's gonna put him in third place right now. Up next for Redline Salvage Inc. is HW Diecast Hot Rod Boy. Hot Rod Boy driving in the 2018 Mustang GT. And he's having problems coming out of the Pacific Coast turn. And that's gonna be the end of it right there. He'll be joining the DNF Club. Hoping to do better for the Redline Salvage Inc. team is Ethan driving the 1965 Mustang Fastback. This one is FTE and it shows 3.299 seconds. That will put him in third place. Representing for JX4 Racing is J. Dean 439 and the 1968 Mustang. This one's one of those tuned cars. They've never really done good on the track, but this one looks decent. Uh, 4.720 seconds. Not very fast, but it certainly could have been worse. Up next, we have Hot Wheel Racer Mike driving for the Guitarded and Broke team. He's in the 67 Shelby GT500. He drifts around the Pacific Coast turn. Not looking very fast here. And he gets a time of 4.999 seconds. Now it's time for the 3D Botmaker Racing Team. Up first is Omar in the Custom 67 Mustang. This one's the 50th anniversary edition with the red line wheels, metal on metal. He gets a time of 3.654 seconds. Not a bad time there. A decent start for the 3D Botmaker Racing Team. Rubber Ruff is driving in the 96 Mustang GT. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Oh, I guess that's what happens when someone lays a finger on your Butterfinger. You hate to see a driver upside down, especially when they're in a convertible. You know, I'm not sure if there is a Ford in his future. Hoping to do much better is Chase Gallery in the 1971 Mustang Mach 1. Gets loose coming out of the turn, spins around. He will make it past the finish with a time of 4.356 seconds. Not too great of a time. Hopefully we can see something better from Rushed Concept 2049 driving the 2018 Custom Mustang GT. And this isn't looking much better. A 4.491 second time. We've only got two drivers left. Christian Nelson is driving the 1965 Mustang. This one is a Target exclusive from the Decade series. It actually features an opening hood, which is a nice touch for modern casting. He's slowly approaching the finish line and he's not gonna make it. What a shame, it's a beautiful looking car. Hopefully they can get that tuned up before the race. And here's our last driver of the day. It's Aiden Orth Racing, driving the 1968 Mustang. The 3D Botmaker team hoping he can pull in a fast time and it's not looking good. And we've got another DNF. A rocky start in this tournament for the 3D Botmaker team. I believe that's their third DNF in the qualifying round. Let's go ahead and take a look at the qualifying results. EMC TV, the number one seed driving for League of Speed. In second place is Big Poppy Racing driving for 4114 Diecast Racing. Redline Salvage Inc. will actually have two drivers in the pole position in their respective heats. Ethan driving that 65 Mustang Fastback and Orange Track Diecast in the 67 Mustang GT. 
And there's a look at the fastest car of the day, the 07 Shelby GT500. This will be the bracket going into the first round of the Mustang Tournament. Rounds one and two will be four lap races, with the top three advancing on to the next round. We've got some great racing in store here at the California Quarter Mile Short Track. So make sure you keep it tuned right here on the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League, the home of Diecast Sports Action Racing. <laughs>